she could smell it. Mm, so it looks like this perfect autumnal pick me up drink. So I add the pumpkin mixture. Ooh, that looks good. Well, there is some similarity, I would say. Yeah. My eye, the eyes. <laughs> the eyes. Look into my eyes. <laughs> it's that time of year again. Hello, October. We finally came to a pumpkin patch after, I think, three years. So we're going to pick some pumpkins for our courtyard. We're currently in a maze. And at home, we're going to make some ultimate pumpkin recipes, pumpkin pie, pumpkin spice latte. Can't wait. But first, let's have a look around here. So, I don't know where Jörg is. Oh, oh, you're here. Did you see something? Something? Shark. What's that? A shark. <laughs> it's quite nice. It's windy but very mild, so we're both wearing our wellies. I do love this. It's perfect for autumn. Brings out the child in me, I must say. <laughs> Come on. Found a friend. That's my sis. Hi, sis. You're not looking too well, are you? Yeah, you fit in. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, like a Harry Potter inspired room. I think we need to watch it again because it's perfect for autumn winter. Can you fit in there? Not that tiny. I bet you could. You could. Let's go to the pumpkin patch. I always love it. We need to walk past these two scary creatures. This is perfect for children. <laughs> but I think it's really nicely done, isn't it? Yeah. What is it? What? What? Just empty. Oh, really? This really brings me back to my childhood. Did you love that as well as a child? Did yeah, we always played outside. Yeah, and played hide and seek in the fields. Yeah. That was amazing. Oh. My goodness, this is actually quite big. Yeah. Are we lost? No. <laughs> you know, this is Daisy Pumpkinhead. <laughs> that looks funny. Yeah. So when you say pumpkin head, it reminds me of the film The Holiday. Yeah, but there's a guy called Mr. Napkin Head. Yeah. I love sunflowers, but well, unfortunately they're done, but they always make me happy. I think that looks nice here, although we won't be buying many, like maybe three. <laughs> Do you want the really big one? I think maybe a, a big one and two smaller ones. So. How about this one? Yeah, a big one, a mid. Is it 
too big? No. It's good? Very good for a garden. Yes. Or a courtyard. Yes. Look, we could, we could get that one here. Because it's small. And I love that it's not all orange. What do you think? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, we get that. Yes. Looks nice. I like it. So now you can... That's good. Autumn, here we come. And that's us done. Three pumpkins, so that's all we need. I'm so glad that we're wearing wellies because we had so much rain last week. Look at this. Very muddy. Okay, let's go home. Time to do some work in the kitchen. Yeah. And we're going to start with a pumpkin pie. Yes, and as far as I've seen it, yes. the recipe is easy to make. Yeah, I know. But still, Kirsten needs to wear an apron. Yeah, because she's a bit messy. Unlike Jörg. He's always so fine, but I need one. But now we're going to show you what you need. For both recipes, you need to make pumpkin puree. So I'm going to cut and peel a pumpkin. Now look, this is the cut pumpkin and because, well, luckily we've got two different colors. So this one will be used for the pumpkin pie and this one will be used for the pumpkin spiced latte. Before I put the tray into the oven, I need to prepare the pumpkin for the pumpkin pie by putting on some heavy cream or as we call it in Great Britain, double cream, yeah, sugar and butter. Now what you've seen, I've put some cream, some sugar and finally some butter onto the pumpkin which we will use for the pumpkin pie. And the pumpkin for the pumpkin spiced latte will stay as it is. And now just put it into the oven for 45 minutes. We're going to make the pie crust first and as always it will be gluten free. So you will need plain white flour, butter, a little bit of salt and a little bit of milk. Okay, 125 grams of butter. And as always, we will link the recipe down below for you in the info box. So in case you want to do it yourself or make a pumpkin pie yourself, you will find all the info down there. I love that we have the church bells today. There seems to be a wedding in the village. Pinch of salt. Now mix this together until it resembles breadcrumbs. That looks good. And now add a little bit of milk, just a tiny amount. So the dough goes into the fridge for at least 20 minutes. It was incredibly easy to make. And if you have time, you can even prepare it the day before. Now, apart from the pumpkin puree that you will need for the filling, you will also need eggs, a pinch of salt, brown sugar, ground cinnamon, vanilla ground extract, nutmeg, ground ginger, and ground cloves and we bought these in Germany and in German it's called Nelken. Mm. 
Now the dough is in the pie pan and I will put that back into the fridge for 20 minutes. So this is our pumpkin for the pumpkin pie and we're going to make puree now. Right, add the brown sugar and the spices. Pinch of cloves, ground cloves. Ah, oh, that smells good. Freshly grated nutmeg. Mmm, that's wonderful. It, I really, really love the smell. So good. And about a teaspoon of vanilla. So it looks like this now and I'm going to add three eggs so that's our filling which looks wonderful smells good and I can't wait for the pie to be ready and try it. I'm going to preheat the oven to about 200 degrees Celsius. Time to put the filling into the pie pan. And now the part which I like most because I don't have to do anything, <laughs> which is called baking. I thought you would. You, well, your favorite bit would be eating or no, trying it. No. <laughs> That's my second favorite one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and you put it in the oven for 10 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius, mm -hmm. and then lower the temperature to 150, and bake it for another 35 to 45 minutes. You know what? I actually, I checked our YouTube channel, and we baked a pumpkin pie, I think four years ago, and I forgot, I totally forgot about it. But I think this recipe is different. Yeah. Because so, it's puree. I think the other one was with slices. I'm not sure. I, I remember that it was really good as well. This one is from the New York Times uh, recipe section. So good. So I'm sure it will be amazing. Well, you have had to leave for a bit to go to the supermarket. But in the meantime, I will be making the pumpkin puree and the pumpkin spice blend for the pumpkin spice latte. That's a lot of pumpkins. I've never made that before, but the recipe sounds pretty straightforward, so it shouldn't be a problem. So, that's really easy to make, and I hope it tastes as good as it sounds. I've had pumpkin spice latte before at the, well, the usual shops like Starbucks or Costa here in the UK. It was always nice, but I think it's so much better. Like if you make it at home, homemade is always good. And for the spice blend, you need the same spices as for the pumpkin pie. So whole nutmeg, cinnamon, ground cinnamon, ground ginger, and American cloves. That's our pumpkin puree. We don't have much ground ginger left, so I'm going to use all of it. Then ground cloves. You know what? It actually smells a little bit like Christmas in this kitchen. Cinnamon, around two teaspoons. And fresh nutmeg. And then just mix this and then you've got your spice mix. Oh my gosh, pumpkin pie is ready. And I'm turning off the oven now and we'll wait for Jörg's call and then I can make the pumpkin spice latte. Oh my goodness, I hope you can see this. I wish you could smell it. Mm, so it looks like this. I think it turned out pretty well. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. It looks amazing. Okay, Yuck just called and he's on his way home. I can now make, I would call it the perfect autumnal P 
pick me up train. So let's do the rest. I will warm up some milk and then add about two tablespoons of the pumpkin puree. The spice blend, about two teaspoons, vanilla bean extract and some sugar. I'm using a whisk and mix everything well and then warm it up. That's our coffee machine but we hardly ever use it because we drink tea but we need some coffee for the pumpkin spice latte. That should be enough. I add the pumpkin mixture. A little bit of ground cinnamon on top. Have a look at the pumpkin pie. What do you think? Mm, looks good. It smells Christmassy in this kitchen, don't yes. you think? Yes. A I little think. bit. <laughs> It will probably be a little bit crumb crumbly. I don't know if that's a word because of the gluten-free flour. Ooh, that looks good. Now that looks yummy, doesn't it? The moment of truth. It's still very warm, so I don't know. Hmm. Sorry, I hope it's not too noisy with the mics. Mm. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Mmm. That's good. So, thumbs up for this. And now let's try the pumpkin spice latte. So, I've topped mine with cinnamon because I love it so much. Oh, I like that. Do you need more? No. Stronger? It's excellent. Is it? Yeah. And that was super easy to make. So the cozy season is about to begin. Yeah, I'm already feeling very cozy. <laughs> yes. We can't wait to have a fire in our snug. It's still a little bit too warm for yeah, it. So, so, yeah. But it will get cold soon. Yeah, so we hope you like this video and as always we'll see you again very soon and we will link the recipes down below for you in the info box and yeah, you should give it a try. I think yeah. it's worth it. Yeah, it so, is. Thank you so much and until next time. Bye. 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 Bye.